the Christmas tree. Here we're looking at a Christmas tree. As you can see, it is a piece of equipment consisting essentially of valves. Where is this installed? It's installed on the top of a well which is on production. Here at the bottom you will see the flange. This flange is made up to the top of the well head and the production tubing will go into the bottom of our Christmas tree. So, as the flow comes up, the first thing that it hits is this valve here. This is called the master valve. This is a 3000 psi tree, relatively low pressure. On a higher pressure tree you would have two of these valves, the lower master valve and the upper master valve. Here we just have the one, the master valve. Then the flow comes up into the cross, which is in the centre of the tree. And from the cross we go straight up to the swab valve. This valve will be kept closed. This allows well entry, we'll cover that in a minute. But the two sides, you have the wing valves going out this side and this side. Here we will have a kill line ready to pump in a kill fluid to kill the well. But on the opposite side, here we have the wing valve followed by a choke box. In the choke box we have the choke which is actually controlling the flow of hydrocarbons and from the choke box into the flow line and off to the production station. What is the swab valve for? Occasionally we have a requirement to enter a, a well which is under pressure or even flowing to take pressure surveys or to take samples. And to do that we need to enter the well here from the top. So here we have what we call the Christmas tree cap. Now if I want to enter the well, firstly of course I will close the well at the master valve. I will open these and depressurize the whole system. Then the swab valve will be closed and I can remove the Christmas tree cap. Once the Christmas tree cap is removed, I then have the possibility to enter into the well with any tools that I'd like to run, pressure gauges, of course, when I have opened the swab valve. To enable me to go into a pressurized well, of course, I need specialist equipment here. A wireline blowout preventer or a lubricator. These are other items of specialist equipment. Christmas trees come in different shapes and sizes, of course. Here on the wall behind me, there is a solid block Christmas tree. This is in Nigeria and you'll see here the, the, the lower master valve, the upper master valve, the two wing valves, the production and the kill. So again, the same as the one we have looked at, but a solid block. And then over in the corner here, we have the Christmas tree from Shearwater in Shell Expro in the North Sea. You see here from the size of the man, this is an enormous piece of equipment. It's a 15,000 psi well head, and on the top is a 15,000 psi Christmas tree, lower master valve, upper master valve, and wing valves on this side. These here are hydraulic operators to open and close the valves. The one I showed you earlier had manual valves. The Christmas tree.